Hey everyone, it's Rena, and I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to upload a character into Vroid files, Vroid Studios to be exact. Okay, so first you're going to start off with your desktop view, or if you're using a Mac, I'm not really sure if the processes are the same because I don't have a Mac. So if you have bought a character right off of Booth or Fiverr, they are more than likely going to give you a, the file type of a VRM file type, and that is what I'm currently using to use animate this character. If you are interested in editing the character yourself after you have bought the character or was given a character, you would need the .vroid file. So as you can see, this is the type of file that you are looking for in order for it to be remodeled or edited in Vroid Studios. So once you have gotten this file, you are going to open up the, you're going to search through your computer for Vroid and you should come up with a Vroid file like that one over there. So you can see over there. Cool. Um, you're going to open that folder up. So it should look like this. So you should have uh, avatar expressions and preferences. I'm not really sure if preference is on a standard file folder or if it's just for mine. I can't remember if I change anything, but you want to open up your avatar folder. So once you have that opened up, you can now just drag and drop that character that you're looking for. So for example, we are going to take, um, let's take uh, Chancellor. And then I'm just gonna drag and drop. If you already had Vroid Studios open up on your computer, you're gonna need to close it so it can refresh itself, reopen it, like so. And now I have Chancellor right there that I've just recently added onto my character listing. And now she is now available to edit. I hope that helps, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.